Hello, I'm Scott with Sean's Photography, and today we're going to go over a question that gets asked quite a bit. Why does the X system have a high-speed sync button if it automatically goes into high-speed sync when you hit your sync speed on your camera? And this is the reason why. Some people still like to use the old 43 megahertz system. So there is a sync port right here, I mean, USB sync port right on the side of all the X system. What's nice about this is we can false sync. So basically, we take the Cells 2C, and there was a Cells 2N. Uh, again, I don't think they make these anymore, but these were one of my favorite transceivers. Um, Again, it can fire off non-Godox stuff as well as um, Godox stuff. It can remotely control my, I mean, I can remotely fire my camera from this using the cables up here at the top. Again, it's like the Pocket Wizard. I really like this unit. And I, I'm glad I bought a whole bunch of these before they're no longer available because, again, I just love these guys. And I do love the 433 megahertz system over the 2.4 gigahertz system. Um, I find it to be less problematic because, again, I think I can get a better signal with this than the 2.4. They say, yes, you get a longer distance with the 2.4. But you know what? It's not about the distance. It's about um, consistency. And, again, I find I get better consistency using the old 433 system. Okay. So let's turn this little guy on. Here you can see we have our screen back here. We're going to hold our mode button. Whoops. Scared the poop out of me. It fired on me. There we go. I did a jump back. I wasn't ready for it. Okay. So now we are in the manual mode. We have our USB receiver built in. Again, the old system only had a single firing pin on the TX. Uh, 16 transmitter and this has um, the TTTL pins all five of them on there again this doesn't do TTTL but that's what it needs to engage high speed sync we're going to hold our high speed sync button down and then we can fire in high speed sync the nice thing about this is if we do not engage the high speed sync button and we put this on the camera, we can false sync it. What false sync means is we're going to go off flash duration. So basically, or fast sync, whatever you want to call it, I call it false sync, but flash sync or fast sync. So basically, my T at T1, I get 1 2 20th of a second flash duration. So basically, I can false sync this and get high speed sync without engaging high speed sync. So therefore, I can fire one to one power and use less power than if I was using it in high speed sync in high speed sync mode by using fast sync. Again, using this transmitter. Again, you can't do that with the 2.4 gigahertz system, but you can do it with the old 433 megahertz system. So again, this is the reason why there's a high speed sync button on every single uh, piece of 2.4 gigahertz system. It's just in case if you want to use the old 433 megahertz system, you can press this button and turn the high speed sync on. That's the only reason why that button's there because it automatically engages high speed sync when you are using the X1, the XT32, transmitters. Again, my name is Scott with Sean's Photography, and hopefully this helps you out. Thank you.